Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Plane crashes are a common theme for many different movies and TV shows, and if you're a nervous flyer, this is probably what you fear from the minute you step on a flight to the minute you get off it. However, if we look at the facts, planes are actually one of the safest ways to travel. You're more likely to die when traveling by car, train, or boat. But that doesn't mean there are no plane crashes. There are some, they're just quite rare. This video will give you some tips on the best ways to survive a plane crash if you're unlikely enough to be caught up in one. It might be worth paying attention, it could even save your life one day. 5. Dress for Survival Starting off our countdown today is a tip you might not think of when you're heading to catch a flight. Usually if we're jetting off to a sunny destination, we dress for the location we're going to, whether that be short shorts, sandals, or a huge floppy sun hat. The problem with this is that these items of clothing can actually put you in danger if there's an in-air emergency. Safety specialists from the Federal Aviation Administration advise that practical and comfortable shoes are a must on flights, as you can move quickly and more easily in them, with less chance of you tripping up. If you're having to run from a plane that has landed but is on fire, for example. Other items of clothing that would protect you if a plane was on fire are long sleeve shirts and trousers, as they cover more of your skin, meaning it is an extra layer of protection. If we look at the statistics, most plane fatalities do not happen in the air, instead happen on the ground after there's been a crash landing, and this is mainly due to fires. So take our advice and dress for survival next time you hop on a plane. The 90 second rule. Up next at number four is something that experts call the 90 second rule. The rule dictates the average amount of time that it takes for a fire to burn through the aluminum outside of the plane and into where the passengers are located. Therefore, if you manage to escape within the first 90 seconds, your chances of survival are greatly increased. When experts have studied plane crashes, they discovered that usually when a plane crashes, it isn't the crash alone that kills the majority of the passengers, instead it is the fire that happens after impact. So keeping 90 seconds in your head is an important reminder that you have to act quickly if you end up in this unfortunate situation. An example of when the 90 second rule has been effective is for Asian Airlines Flight 214, which crash landed in 2013 in South Korea. While the crash did kill three of the passengers, over 300 were able to escape as they got out before flames got into the fuselage of the plane. Meaning that the survival rate was around 99%. This was due to the quick thinking of both staff and passengers who got away from the plane quickly. 3. Don't go too low Coming in at number 3 in our countdown today is a tip that might go against everything that you thought of when it comes to fire safety. Usually in a house fire, the advice is to go low and stick to the ground as hot air and smoke rises. Keeping low to the ground means you'll inhale less harmful smoke and it'll be slightly cooler until you can escape. If you happen to be in a plane crash, however, this is some of the worst advice you could follow. This is due to the lack of room in an aircraft. The aisle is narrow, and there's not enough room for all the passengers on board to drop to the ground safely. This could end up being more of a health and safety issue, as people will end up being crushed or trampled. Instead, the best advice is that you stay standing but cover your nose and mouth with some kind of clothing to block out as much smoke as you can. If you can't get through the aisle by walking, as it's obstructed or full of people, try and climb over the backs of the seats to get to safety. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. 2. Where you sit 
Our subscriber image at number two in our countdown today is a basic diagram that could end up saving your life. Not every seat in an aircraft is equal, and we aren't talking about business and first class here. If we look at plane crashes, where you sit on the plane can increase or decrease your chances of survival. Traditionally, it was thought that the seats over the wings of an aircraft were the safest, as this was thought to be the part of the plane that was the strongest. However, studies in the past 20 years have proven this to be false. One famous study that concludes this was the Popular Mechanics 2007 study, which looked into all plane crashes after 1971. The study revealed that 56% of people survived if they were sitting above the wings, compared to 49% at the front, but 69% survived if they were seated toward the back of the plane. Therefore, if you're selecting your own seat, it's best to go toward the back of the flight. Ideally, you want to sit no more than six rows away from an emergency exit, too, as this means that you can escape the plane quicker if you have to. Experts at the University of Greenwich looked at 105 airline accidents from all around the world and discovered that those who survived tended to sit closer to these exits. It might be worth paying that little bit extra for seat selection now that we know this information. 1. Follow the safety guidelines And taking the top spot in our countdown today is a simple yet important tip. Follow the safety guidelines that you are given. You know that safety announcement with a demonstration that the flight attendants give before you fly? The one you probably don't pay attention to? That one. Well, start paying attention as what they are telling you could be the difference between life and death. One key thing that the flight attendants or the handy help card in the back of your seat describes is what we call the brace position. This position has been described by experts as the single most important thing to do to improve your chances of survival. Stay down! Firstly, putting both your feet firmly on the ground means that there is less chance of you crashing into the seat in front of you and injuring yourself. Your hands on your head will protect it from any falling debris or luggage and the position as a whole will stop you being thrown forward. One other thing that attendants go over in their safety briefing? Oxygen masks. While you may be on hundreds of flights and never have to use one, you need to know how to use them properly as a loss in cabin pressure can be extremely harmful. If your brain loses oxygen for even a few seconds, it can cause some kind of mental impairment. The longer it doesn't have oxygen, the more severe the impairment. With oxygen masks, however, you can handle a lack of pressure in the cabin for around 20 minutes. Mask over your nose and mouth and slip elastic strap over your head. Enough time for the plane to land safely or get to a lower altitude where you don't require masks anymore. When the masks drop from above, put them on straight away, even if you don't feel the effects of no oxygen yet. They will have dropped for a reason. Flight attendants always say to make sure your mask is on correctly before helping anyone around you, including your children. While you may want to ensure that they are okay first, follow this advice as you'll not be much help to anyone if you start to lose oxygen as your brain will not work properly. After the important safety briefing, the flight attendants go through the plane, ensuring that your seatbelt is correctly fastened. Seatbelt sign is on. Please fasten and adjust your seatbelt as shown. Keep your seatbelt fastened and visible. And this couldn't be more important. Each year, over 50 people in the United States are injured while flying as they didn't have their seatbelt on when the plane hit turbulence. It's important that you listen to the flight attendant as they explain how to open the seatbelts too as they differ from car ones and can be a little more confusing if you're trying to undo them in a panic. The National Transportation Safety Board explained that some crash victims died as they couldn't escape as they didn't know how to loosen their belts. Next time you're on a plane, we hope you listen to every word of the safety briefing after watching this video. And that concludes our list of the five best ways to survive a plane crash. Did you know about these tips? Were there any that surprised you? Comment down below to let us know. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos. We'll see you next time.